What's up? I'm Chad Sharp. I'm a rider owner for Ronix Wakeboards. Uh, this is my new board for 2011, the Viva. It's a new shape from last year, and it's definitely got a lot of new features that I'd like to show you. If you've ridden any of my boards in the past, you definitely know that they're fast, hard charging boards, easy to land on, and easy to ride. You can just pick it up and get on it. And this is just the next progression in the line, you know? All right, an interesting thing about shaping this board this winter too was this year we're sending foam blanks, glassed up, completely new shapes, com like whatever rocker line you want, whatever you want in that board, and just starting from scratch and going from basic. So it was a really cool process this year. It took a little longer, but I think we got to where we needed to go a lot, a lot better. Three drastic changes we've made this year on the board. Uh, one, the belly's wider, tips are narrower, and we got the sharp edge. First thing we did on it was change the rails. I had a more round rail last year. This year I went to a sharper rail. Keep that speed, it's definitely a lot more grippy. When you turn, it's gonna get go to point A to point B a lot faster than it has in the past. Sharp rail on the tail. And it's just an all around fast board. Gonna, gonna take you where you need to go quick. So on my board, it's not three stage, it's not continuous, it's kind of a hybrid in between. Whereas it's got the more kick in the tip and the tail, so it's gonna give you that hard pop off the wake, but it's a little mellower, a little rounder through the center, and that's gonna give you the soft landings, the more consistency as you hit the wake. So I think we came up with a good blend between the two. The tricks I notice the carbon on most is everything. It's from spinning, you get that straight up pop, it snaps, you know, all the way to doing railies, hoochie glides, anything, hitting off kickers, on the landings, on the takeoffs, it's just there. It gives you that extra little punch. It's that extra little stiffness. For me, having a stiff board, it definitely lets you use the wake to its fullest. If you get the shot, you know, I'd really take advantage of trying to ride this board. It's really easy to ride, yet it's really aggressive. You know, it kind of hits both. And uh, if you want to take it as hard as you can, it will, and it'll be forgiven to you. The ATR is the version of my board that has carbon tip to tail. It's just one of the snappiest, hardest off the way, you know, best landing boards that I've ever ridden. And it comes with, you know, the centered bottom, so it's gonna be bulletproof on rails. It also comes with a set of, set of slider fins. You know, those things are bulletproof and you can take it to your cable park, you can take it to the rail behind your house and just beat this thing up and it's just gonna keep going for you. Using carbon, people think we use it to stiffen the board, but it's actually to maintain the shape, you know, keep it shaped through the wake, through the takeoff, through the landing, and the way the board's supposed to be ridden. The carbon graphite weave that we use in our boards helps the board return to its shape six times faster than a regular fiberglass wakeboard. The two fins that it comes with, one is the ramp fin, and the ramp fin is, you know, the fin I ride day to day behind the boat in contests. It's fast, it bites, you know, it's very grippy. Whereas if you go to the rail fin, it's gonna be a little looser, gonna ride a little more like a molded in fin. And if you like that looser feel, it's definitely gonna be the fin for you. It's just, for me, I switch back and forth, depends what I'm doing. I'm Chad Sharp. If you get a chance, I'd love if you tried my new shape out this year. I really think you're gonna enjoy it and uh, have fun this summer.